Oh boy, I can't wait to get banned within the Russian Federation. Hello everybody, I'm the Curious Con Man, and well, today we are playing Hearts of Iron 4, the Road to 56 Beta. Yes, because, well, the regular mod isn't updated to uh, 1.11 yet. Well, yes, you... If you guessed Ukraine, well, you guessed correctly. I'm playing Hearts of Iron 4 in 2022, March, as you... Crane. Nothing can go possibly wrong. Oh boy, I can't wait to get kicked out of the Swift banking system. And I'm sure I'll say it later, but all the proceeds of this video and this month's Patreon money is going to Ukraine, or more particularly, humanitarian efforts to uh, help children in need. You know, not to uh, armed forces or ammunition or anything, but just like to children. I mean, how could you get angry about that? Thank you so very much for watching. You're actually helping. I know. Watching Hoi 4 can actually help people. I'm kidding, it ruins your life. We have to provide food and shelter. Oh, this is gonna... <clears throat> this is gonna take a little bit, isn't it? Ah, uh, yes. Ukraine! The... Green Ukraine. It's green! <laughs> we, we made it into Ukraine. Yes, we are obviously playing Road to 56. Uh, released every single possible nation that the Soviet Union has to offer. Um, then I realized there was a game rule that could do that. But you wouldn't have Stalin, and what game wouldn't be complete without Stalin? So, like, 15 minutes later, changed a lot of countries' ideologies. Bada bing, bada boom, we got Khrushchev, we got Stalin, and we got a wonderful, not aligned Republic of Green Ukraine. The authoritarian, fascist, and all democratic parties are all led by the same guy. Okay, nice, sweet. So, we have the wonderful generic Road to 56 focus tree. Um, I need more than 45 factories have industrial boom, and we are a long way off from that. This, uh, this obviously is just going to be very painful. Um, I don't even know what the strategy is. Do I go after Guangxi clique? I got to build a navy. I don't. I only have one glorious Vladivostok dockyard. Oh, one. so yes, we have such memorable places like Volgastat, German Reich, Komi Republic, Ukraine, of course, and White Siberia, because we need to be told it was Siberia's white. We, we can clearly see that, man. <laughs> Turkey, why, why are you listen to this guy anymore? This. Oh. Uh, sorry about that, I must have, uh, puppeted Georgia, oop. Oh, I missed the pop-up, but we got... Oops. Uh, <laughs> I, did, I didn't do that, I swear. I swear to God, I did not do that. See, it, it, it doesn't help. It's, okay, okay, that's a bit of... This is probably the... Alright, I fixed it. Uh, yeah, I did the, I did the Road 56 release, so maybe uh, that, that won't happen. Uh, this is probably the stupidest thing in my life, I... Both Russia and Japan have claims on my, my territory. Green Ukraine! Woohoo! Yeah! Ah, uh, yup. Yup. Nice, Chang. Nice. You're already... You're already going at it in China. How lovely. I'm just gonna be... Don't mind me. I'm just... Up here. Chilling. Class conflicts divide Green Ukraine. Authoritarian members lament this dis development. Longing for a time when Green Ukrainian... <laughs> is what people identified as... Front for. I get it. I get it. There's a large Ukrainian population. <laughs> <laughs> At least the flag is cool. All right, all right. 11 factories already, that ain't bad. And our wonderful cavalry leader, Vladislav Pavlov. Welcome, welcome. Oh, wonderful. You know, you know, look very Russian to me, but you know what? We'll let it slide. Car in the, the Far East, after all. And oh, he's got Slav in the name. Ah, right out of the gate, glorious October. A referendum. The Marxist ideas have taken over. Oh, I don't like the flag. Hey, you. Is that a custom leader? Whatever it is, I like it. We're doing collectivist UFOs, of course. We're gonna get those wonderful factories, those wonderful Soviet factories. Hopefully, I need a better opinion of you. You guys, you guys can like me, right? Right? Holy crap, no more green Ukraine! Ah! After this thoroughly distraught muse, we'll always be at heart green Ukraine. I would just like everyone to know. Anyways, we're done with that, I guess. Who, who would justify after? I think, uh, Burata over here, the... Romantic King um, of Burata is pretty good. They only have two divisions. I have three. Big difference. Big. W okay, that's a long time. Uh, I woke up from my slumber. I got four wonderful divisions. That's more than them. By a, by a little bit, I got zero. We don't got the most manpower in the world, but that's uh, kind of the problem when you live in green Ukraine. Well, country literally, I guess, are led by a minority at this point. There's probably more Chinese people living here than green Ukrainians, but. Oh, we're gonna do one very major, very epic and circum- If I do say so myself, uh, when it comes to supply, uh, we're just kinda winging it till we get to- till we get to their capital. See? So, uh, yeah, there, there's that. 
tell him to follow the railroad. Uh, what streets are, are we just... There's only a singular railroad that goes through. There's no one living here, guys. There's only like two million people. Peasant Union. Uh, uh oh. What kind of, okay, I'm gonna be honest. The flag, not exactly balling. Is that jerk? Don't tell me. What, <laughs> what is that? Why do you care about the Dharma Kingdom of Barada? God damn it, Germany. I'm gonna be honest with you. It wasn't the hardest thing in the world. Kind of just <laughs> distracting only exclusively German troops at this point. Uh, and I'm using the last stand. So gamey. I don't know what they're gonna do now. I'm pretty sure they have zero supply hubs at this point, which, uh, yeah, they're just kind of crumbling. I mean, I, I don't have any supply hubs. I, no one has supply. It's Siberia. What did you expect? Oh my god, holy crap. It took me, it took me a little bit to command and gawker, but boom, done. <laughs> Take all. Oh. oh my god. And yes, I court it because I'm not, I'm not only going to conquer the world with two million people, all right? Close enough with the Far Eastern Soviet Socialist Republic. So, sure, this counts. This Far East counts, right? I, I hope. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I got an idea. You see these some? You, you see? <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> you guys could go do it. <laughs> I don't know why I find the concept of a Ukrainian Guangxi clique so goddamn funny. Go, my precious. Uh, don't mind me. Just all the communist troops going to liberate China. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, force attack, force attack. Yes, we did it. Guang, <laughs> Guang, The industrial heartland of China right here is going to be all mine, all Ukraine. See, I knew we could do it. Thanks, Pietor. And we got a tiny little insurmountable encirclement because, of course, of course we did. See? The Ukrainian spirit is strong with this one. E easiest war I've done all day. Sorry, no place for you to run, man. <laughs> We're going to the, the green Ukrainian concentration camp. Whoa, the Soviet. Hold on, hold on. Soviet. The USSR. The SSSR before the USSR. Oh, holy crap. The SSSRs versus the USSR. Stalin. Roll call. How would you guys come? Sorry for a little bit of lag there. Oh, if you thought Nan King was something, wait till you see what we do in Nan Ning. Ooh, go get sent off to build a highway in the middle of Siberia. Ooh. And boom. Glorious. I get to take it. You guys didn't do shit. I'm just over here checking up on the Civil War, seeing so I intervene. I realized that, uh, this guy's over here is the realm of the great god of light. Okay, you guys gonna. <laughs> Can keep doing that, all right. All right, now let's stop it with our, uh, our silliness down at uh, <laughs> gone the Guangxi clique over there. Sorry, we need we need that just to establish a presence, you know. Make sure that the Ukrainian language certainly lasts a long time. How's Ukraine doing, by the way? No, where did Khrushchev go? Where the hell is Vladimir Vin Vin I just looked over here and I'm like, who signed? Why'd they sign the neutrality pact? Or Alf Landon? What? What are you doing? Continuing the New Deal, that's pretty cursed, but uh, I, I see you, Alf. What are you doing? I see that little sliver. What what are you what are you doing here? That's a... That's a lot of guys there's... <laughs> you good, Spain? I... I really don't think so. I, I really don't think so. Jesus, anarchism. This is one hell of a world. Whatever Switzerland's smoking, I want in. This is single-handedly the most painful thing I've ever done in my entire life. And I've had testicular torsion. I don't know why the, uh, the tips of, um, the tip of, uh, Siberia here is literally the naval powerhouse of the world. But you know what? I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna qu <laughs> question. What, what's your master plan here, Boomin? <laughs> We're gonna have nuclear summer. Is that it? Nuclear summer? Oh, fuck. Well, you see, conveniently, they've died before they could start the war. So, you know, no war with Japan or... J excuse me, Japan or China now. Wonderful. Sweet. We're doing all right for ourselves. We have a little empire building here. So, so, socialist uh, um, empire building. I honestly did not think we would ever get to this point. We can say that... A green Ukraine's industry is booming. We got, we got the, okay, okay, think about it. We have the, the population. We have factories to build consumer goods. We have an area for raw resources to come in to feed those factories. But it, it's genius, it's brilliant. I don't want to do my own horn, but thanks, Peoria Thor, go Borzniv. Not gonna lie, uh, he, I, I don't think that's, that's what he's looking like here, guys. He look, he's looking a little, 
a little dopey over here. I guess, uh, Mongolia was just one step too far. Oh, so I, I got a crazy idea here. What if I just, uh... <laughs> What if I just went down to state transfer tool, just transfer, okay. Are we good? Whew. Whew. Oh, that was close. Only thing bad now is if they, you know, justify it on Guangxi over here. I really hope that never happened. Well, India got out before uh, the whole world war could turn any further south. Uh, good for you, good for you, man. All right, I, you know, I already own part of China's core is might as well in for a penny in for a pound. You get the idea. And Hasso, what? That's crazy. Well, looks like I have an opening for a wonderful opportunity to invade Manchuria. Who could have guessed it? What on earth is is that this? What, what are you guys doing here? Ah, uh, more guns just means more uh <clears throat> industry industry left over for me to build those fancy railroad guns. It looks like the name Pyotr Pure Pyotr. <clears throat> well, it doesn't matter. He's adaptable. So that's pretty awesome. And we're going to just chuck him up there. I guess I can make him an MPP specialist. Why not? I really need the XP. All right. So the strategy here is I quickly, very quickly, declare war. Right, right, right. Follow. The following. And then quickly send these guys over just so they're... Fuck. I didn't have them out today. Shit. <clears throat> Round two. Preferably with less profanity uh hopefully i have it out right come on it just should, should be instant it should be sent off and see boom done yeah i know i know it's a bit cheeky and everything and but oh well <sighs> it's not it's remember it's not a war crime and you're not breaking the rules if you win of course surely uh that does mean we'll win i mean you know for example putin won't win in ukraine because you know i'm ukraine ukraine's awesome Go Ukraine. I'm donating money to Ukraine. You guys know. Please, please, when Ukraine, I want Putin to get away with his war crimes. Don't mind. I'm. I. Uh, the, it was. Uh, it was. A, it was an accident, guys. I, I swear. At least China isn't in. And uh, well, it looks like Germany's doing good for themselves. Uh, finally. Now that is certainly unexpected. <sighs> ah shit. All right, things are getting a a bit sti. Uh, <clears throat> A bit spicy, but, uh... Sorry, man. Green Ukrainian anime is the new hip thing. All the youngsters love it. Boom. <laughs> so stupid far. A green Ukrainian forces would have been much... Why does the Chinese naval invasion have to capture the one territory that has the only railroad that goes to my actual other troops? This is just pain. You can see the lovely points in which, uh... The Chinese took these pockets on the railroad, and I had to kind of build around them. <clears throat> what was really annoying was when Manchuria occupied the parts of the railroad because China had them, and they defeated them. D don't even get me started on that. Because, well, I'm I'm not at war with Manchuria. Yet. And I'm... <laughs> I'm not... <laughs> Republic of China... I feel like it's a bit late to, to get a war goal now. Oh, no, 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 Ah, crap. This is a mess, and I hate myself. I can't, I can't, I don't even know what to look at. You see, I'm actually gaming down here. It's actually going pretty, pretty well. Just, uh, uh, uh at least it's cleaner. That, bizarre, but, okay, maybe it's a bit too early to see. I mean, this situ, this situation seems oddly familiar. Ah. I'm doing circles around you. Why, why does the AI do that? They just mysteriously disappear and I, no one knows where. All right, let me go reconquer Tokyo again. Uh, maybe recapture the Trans-Siberian Railroad. Okay. Hey, at least I'm actually having fun. I don't know why, you know, Northern Siberia is, Northwest Siberia is the most developed region in the entire world. Oh, Japan, your downfall. You, ironic. You can save others from death, but not yourself. <laughs> Get it, Star Wars? We all knew deep down inside that the green Ukrainians of Asia were the true, true successors to J the Japanese Empire. What, what even is Tokyo in Ukrainian, I wonder? It's New Kiev, all right? That's New Kiev. <laughs> what in the... Now that's a mouthful. Okay, it's certainly turned around. I've conscripted literally like 25% of my entire population. Um, even though I have the weirdest booming economy in the weirdest place in the whole goddamn world, 
Um, and now we're winning the war. And she's gonna crush China. Yay! Be, be out there. You're not too bad. Uh, yeah, that that eternal civil war is still. <laughs> it's been like three years, guys. Come on. The sublime Ottoman state, yes, yes, the sublime. Of course Manchuria had to capitulate. Ah, my invasion of Korea to the famous Japanese capital of Pyongyang. Oh boy. And with the people's liberation of Beijing, we can finally say that, yep, be liberated. We have encircled the Chinese, and well, I'll see you when the Republic of China has fallen to the great empire of green Ukraine. <laughs> Voila! The international, because of course I can, with uh, Argentine and Fanny over here. Haha. Uh -huh. There was like 30 um, extra divisions here at one point. I was gonna go for the encirclement, maybe I'll break it, but you know what? Screw it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. All right, yeah, 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 I get the memo. Ah, you smell that? It smells like four million dead Asians. <laughs> oh, dear God, green air. Oh, she okay. Not green air, but I still think that's some spicy ground attack. How'd I miss this? No, you great! Okay, we're sending as many guns as we possibly have, which is uh, zero. Oh, finally, the, Repu the grand communist socialist utopia of green Ukraine is... Is Green Ukraine is the true heirs to the mandate of China. <laughs> this is by far the best game of Void 4 I've ever played. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> of course, we have a few more guys to go take care of. Everyone's favorite Ukrainian two for one special. <laughs> All right, so I had a cool idea. If we're going to liberate Ukraine from the Germans, then we gotta go through the Russians. It's pretty simple. Surely they'll have all their troops still bogged up in this literally like seven year war now. I guess I was right. Look at that, intuition. Now, I once said in my previous video that this is the type of encirclements Putin has to look forward to. I was very wrong. This is the type of encirclements Zelensky has to look forward to. Ah. Yes, yes, steady progress, steady progress, and a boatload of casualties. And this Stalingrad is, this battle of Stalingrad is very different. Especially when it's y y Ukrainian. Oh, 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 I took Moscow. I took Moscow, guys. Finally. Or I didn't even take Moscow. No. Well, okay. Well, boom. What? Uh, oh, no. How awful. Holding national referendum. Oh, no. Communism defeated. That's kind of funny, though. <laughs> Democracy giant. Boom. The Republic of Green Ukraine in all its glory, I guess. Ah, thank you, the usual suspects. You all look very Ukrainian, and, well, I guess there's only one place left to go, and if we can join the f allies here, well. Oh, ho, ho. Mm, doo -doo -doo -doo. And voila. Grand offensive must be concluded to liberate Ukraine. Our help? Of course I'll help. Uh. This is a pretty easy invasion of Ukraine. I see I can push this right through the top. We'll take we'll take th this province inconspicuously, of course. And green Ukraine, well, strongest nation in the world. Of course, I hate this. I I feel dirty doing this. Uh, Cause I've been staring at maps of the whole conflict. Um, well, at least it's Ukrainians liberating Ukraine from the Germans who conquered it from the Ukrainians, so, you know. Ah, this universe, Belarus, I'm sorry. You got, you, you always get killed either way. Uh, doesn't help that you're communist, though, so. Ha, ah, see, because I'm not communist anymore. I'm a democracy. Ignore, <laughs> just ignore that our democratic, fascist, and authoritarian leader are all the same person. It's a, it's a really turning into just World War II here. Uh, you see, um, well, now that D-Day's occurred, Franco-British Union D-Day of varying degrees of success, we'll just say, Eh, I'm sure they'll collapse. Eventually. I got Kiev. That's cool. I got planes. Maybe. 
Okay, maybe I don't actually have. Maybe I don't actually have planes. No, mm -hmm. oh, I like those twenty thousand guns. And sorry to all the Iranian Turkish people divisions who got encircled. But sorry, the Ukrainian menace can't be stopped. Let me just steal that Italian railway gun right there. Now that wasn't too hard, was it? <sighs> In a perfect world, Ukraine made it to the EU before Turkey and occupied Constantinople. <laughs> Ukraine. Uh, well, the two front war is going well. Uh, don't look at Turkey. I'm just trying to get them to capitulate. Germany, however, we're pushing on the river, kind of like actual World War II. As in, I'm bleeding manpower. Very much so. Oh, oh, oh. Finally, Berlin has fallen. Yes, we have the great cities of the world Berlin, Istanbul, Moscow, Beijing, Tokyo. They're all. Ukrainian! Ah, uh, geez, thanks, allies, for not opening up another front. I'm like swimming to Frankfurt in my own blood over here. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome for the visceral detail, like, quite seriously. Finally, geez, that was, uh, that was a lot. Surprise, you're still alive, and you're willing to accept Ukrainian ownership of Germany. This is like the third time I've capitulated Bessarabia, don't ask. Um, well, as Rome falls now to the Swiss. Okay, well that's not cool. Anyways, boom, and then this is getting quite out of control. Are the Italians still alive? Oh, did, they didn't even capitulate. <laughs> you can still see my call to arms. Well, lovely. And obviously as the one who killed like millions of people, finally, <laughs> we've gone from green Ukraine all the way in Vladivostok to actual Ukraine. Yeah, I'm not even gonna touch Crimea. Oh, holy crap. The true successors to Rome, the forefront of European pan-nationalism, Ukraine. Green Ukraine. Can not gonna lie, it's a nice flag. The usual suspects, looking very Ukrainian, very European indeed. What? That is the ugliest goddamn borders I have ever ever seen thank you so much to everyone who's watched me play this video and i would say this is pain but there's nothing that the people of ukraine and the ukrainian armed forces are suffering right now under russian occupation so of course i'm donating all the proceeds of this video probably not much honestly and this month's patron to um just uh donation to charity to support Ukraine in the moment and eventually hopefully their reconstruction after this war and so I this is the funnest thing of game campaign I've ever had and I hope you all enjoyed it so much China looking very beautiful over there well there we go thank you so much I wish you all a wonderful evening and one well, now to the patrons what are you doing there, FDR? A very special thank you to Stepin, Aaron Moon Unit, A Tony at Law 2021, Moonwalking Roosevelt, Horror Zone 25, CSP 67, and 9. Thank you all to being wonderful Patreons to my community, and I wish you all a wonderful evening.